So how does one find the domain and range of a function? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And in order to find the domain and range of a function, it's really important that you understand the definitions behind the two first. So here's an overview as to what domain and range are all about. Now, the domain, rough definition, it would be the set of possible x values. In other words, what numbers are you allowed to plug in for x? Now, in the range is the set of possible y values. In other words, what are the numbers that are possible for y? Now, oftentimes, you might have heard that x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. In other words, what numbers the y can be really depends on what numbers the x is going to be. So in other words, when you plug in the x values, you will get your y values. So Domain is what's allowed for x, and range is what's allowed for y. So here's a couple of quick examples for you. Now suppose you have a function y is equal to 3x plus 1. Now, first, you generally want to find the domain. Now, in terms of domain, you want to figure out what's allowed for x. Now, Basically, because it's 3x plus 1, you might recognize this as a line. Now, you could figure out that in a line, any number is possible to plug in for x. So basically, a short answer for domain is all real numbers. Or if you're familiar with interval notation, you will say negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, what about the range? What is allowed for y? Well, if you could plug in any number you want for x, then you can plug in any number you want for y. So therefore, the range is also all real numbers. Now, suppose you have something of the sort y is equal to square root of x. Now, in this particular case, you have a square root function. Now, square root functions, you know, has to be positive or 0. So that means for the domain, you can plug in only numbers bigger than or equal to 0 because, again, square roots, you can't really have negative numbers. Otherwise, you'll have imaginary, which you can't really have for real numbers. So the domain is all numbers x greater than or equal to 0. Now, if you can only plug in positive numbers or 0 for x, then that means the y coordinates are also going to be positive or 0. So that means your range in this particular case is also going to be greater than or equal to 0. Now, are the domain and range always going to match? No, not necessarily. It all depends on the function. I'm Jimmy Chang, and that gives you a glimpse as to how you find domain and range.